dog training commands like sit and stay can be important for your pet's safety, but some dog tricks are just plain fun. Here to show some amazing tricks you can teach your pet, we welcome back certified canine behavior specialist, Bree Blakeman. It's great to see you. Good to see you too. And the star of the show as yes. well, Yuka, joining us today Thank to you show for off. She's, she's gearing up, she's getting her rest in before she starts her show. You are, aren't you? <laughs> so these are kind of next level beyond the basics that some of us may or may not have accomplished with our pets at home. Correct, <laughs> yeah. And as a dog trainer, I like to say that to your dog, anything you teach them is a trick. Sure. So sit can be a trick. Down can be a trick, there you right? Go. We want to teach all these behaviors in a way that is really fun for our canine learners. Okay. Um, but sometimes it's easier for us as humans to loosen up a little bit yeah. when it's not something serious. So mm -hmm. trick training can be a really great way to bond with our dog. Yeah. And to actually learn together the foundations of really great training. And it just reinforces, yeah, the relationship that you've already established. And you can keep just up in the ante with all the incredible things. These these dogs are so smart. They They're can do so just about smart. anything. So you have a few examples to show us today that could up our dog trick game at home. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So the first one I want to start with is teaching a nose target to hand. Okay. Now before I do this, you're ready, aren't you? We're going to be using um, marker training. Okay. So you're going to hear me say yes. And after I say yes, I'm going to be feeding Yuka a treat. That's a marker word. It's a way that we can take a snapshot of the behavior we want her to repeat. Okay. That way she knows I did it right and mm -hmm. food's on the way. Perfect. Okay. So Yuka. Ready? There's lots of yummy smells around our kitchen Hi, over there. Do. So I'm going to present my hand just an inch away from her nose. Yes. When she sniffs my hand, I mark that behavior and give her a treat. Okay. Right? So this is a nose target. Yes. Notice how I'm not saying anything other than the marker. So right. I'm not saying touch. I'm not saying boop. I'm not calling it anything yet. Yes. We only want to name the behavior when we really like how it looks. Okay. So to me, that means my treat pouch can be out of sight. I can present my hand from a good distance. Yes. And I'm still good getting job. the behavior. Okay. So she knows it. Now I can name it. So okay. I'm going to say the cue, touch, present my hand. Yes. Very nice. Mark the behavior and feed a treat. And there are lots of treats involved. So you've got little teeny tiny bite-sized things yeah. to keep that going throughout the training session, however long it lasts, depending yes. on what you're up to. Yes. That was a great one. And the reason, I should say, indeed, because look how she looked right. at me and was like, where's my treat? She got her <laughs> cue. <laughs> so the reason I wanted to start with that is because if your dog knows a nose there target, you, go. you can teach a lot of different behaviors, such as spin. That is right? so fun. Yes. Um, if your dog doesn't know a nose target, though, Again, we're gonna start with food, and this is called a food lure. When you put a treat right to your dog's nose and move them around okay. while they're following it, that's a food lure, okay? So to teach her to spin in a circle, I'm gonna start with her right in front of me in a stand. I'm gonna point my elbow out so that my knuckles are towards okay. me. And I'm just going to, yes, ask her to turn her head just a little bit. A little bit, bit right? not the full spin. Correct. Yes, but you can see she's like, Oh, okay, following my hand really easily. So if your dog can move all the way in a circle, yes, you want to mark right when their um, head is all the way halfway around that circle. Okay. Yes. Okay. Once your dog can do that behavior easily three to five times sure. in a row with food, we take food out of the picture. Okay. Pretend to have a cookie, but you don't. Okay. Do it again. Yes. And now we've got a hand signal. There we go. So with practice, your dog will start to just follow. Yes. Oh, she's a so good. A small gesture yeah. into the behavior. You guys have worked hard on this, we though. Have. This doesn't happen in just a day, right? Correct. OK. Yeah. So now that I've got the behavior looking how I want it, I'm going to name it. Okay. So I'm going to say the cue, twist, and then I'm going to show her what that means. See how she paused and looked at me? Uh -huh. She's like, I don't know what that wor word means. Right. So I flipped over the flashcard and showed her. Perfect. Twist. Good job. Very honey. nice. She Eventually, even switched directions yeah, she on did. us. That was cool. <laughs> Eventually, they skip waiting for that hand signal. Right. Okay. Twist. Amazing. She's like, what? <laughs> yes. Good job. You're very brilliant. Okay. Let's see if we can squeeze in a couple more here. Okay. So the next one I wanted to work on, Yuka, you're not done yet. 
you're not done yet. She's like, while you teach, I'll go <laughs> sniff the whole place. Let's do a little sit for me. Thank you. So we're going to teach how to take a, um, how to teach your dog to take a bow. Oh, okay. So this one's fun too. That's really we're going to use luring once again. I'm going to start my dog in a stand. Okay. Let's see if we can get her so the camera can really see. I'm going to lower her head down. Yes. And then toss the treat behind oh, okay. me. Okay. So she's not folding into a down. Right, before you get the full body on the ground yes. down situation. There you go. Right. I see, that makes She's sense. She's anticipating the food coming behind right. me. Yucca. And so uh, if I fed her right here, she might fold all the way into a down. Right. And that's yeah. harder to get that bow position. Because that's kind of the basics of teaching down, right? Just getting yeah. them on the ground. So now okay. no food in the hand. And I might get a nose target at the end. Very so again, nice. she's not laying down. Yeah. Now, of course, she already knows this. Right. So I've layered in verbal cue and a visual cue. Yuka, right here. Bravo. Stay. That's Very okay. Good. She didn't quite do it. Touch. I'm going to try again. Bravo. Stay. Yes. There good we go. Girl. Oh my gosh. Such I'm a so smart impressed. Cookie, right? She's so good. Okay, we have one quick one as yes. well. We're gonna have a Could prop you hand here. Me that prop. This beautiful okay. sunflower. So this one's a lot more advanced. Okay. Let's start over here. We're gonna use um, a training method called shaping, which is capturing small approximations towards an end goal. Okay. The end goal is that she holds and then retrieves the flower. But I'm gonna start by just, yes, marking her for interacting with it at all. Okay, perfect. Ready? So that time I added a little bit of duration. Uh -huh. Yes. Very I moved nice. My hands okay. Away. Just inches at a time. Yes. <laughs> She's so good. And then with a lot of practice, yeah. you might be able to get bring. She's like, wait, is this a toy? What is this? Oh, cute, honey. Right here. Yes, good, good job. Good girl. You've done it all, Yuka. We put you to work today. Thank you so much, Bree. It was great to see you, you both. Thank you so much. We can get started with some fun tricks at home. Thank you, guys. It was great to see both of you. Good job, Yuka. Pretty. Beautiful. <laughs> and we'll have more information on our website at katu.com. We'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this. Way to go, girlfriend. Amazing.